women weren't allowed to vote until like recently like 19 well I, 1918 and i believe it was ratified in 1920 okay. so we've had a century of women being able to vote but okay but the fact that that wasn't available do you see what how that well, I, what I would be prepared to argue is there was, for the vast major, majority of human history, men weren't allowed to vote either. There's maybe a hundred year period where men were start. It used to be a very small proportion of, regardless of gender, people could vote. Yeah. So it was a very small, it, for the longest period of human history, neither men or women could vote. It was a very small portion of history where men did, there were more men that could vote than women. Yeah. And, but part of that was because of men, <laughs> men were subject to military conscription and women were not. Me personally, in, 19, in 1914, let me see how I wanna tackle this. I would have preferred not having the right to vote in 1914. Can you, do you, is there any reason why I might have, let's say I was alive at that point, is there any reason why I might have not wanted the right to vote? and the corresponding uh, responsibilities that came with it in that time period? Because you would have stayed at home, you would have been like the caretaker, is that what you're kind of saying? Let like me ask, what, what happened in, in the later part of the, uh, from 1914 to 1918, what happened? <laughs> like, what do you mean? From 1914 to 1918, what happened? A lot. <laughs> War? There was, a, there was a major... Okay, okay. so World War I was from 1914 to 1918. Bingo, it was the most, up until that point, it was the most brutal war that, in, that involved many, many nations. There was, there was uh, chemical weapons, trench warfare, warfare that had a type of warfare that had never been seen before, um, millions of casualties, millions of deaths, predominantly when it comes to military casualties, uh, predominantly men. Uh, part of being able to vote came, that was a, a right or a privilege, came with corresponding responsibility. And that responsibility was getting shipped off to Bella Wood or Amiens or Ar the Ardennes Forest or Argonne and getting, being in a trench getting fucking trench foot, get, getting chemical, uh, excuse me, getting chemical gas by the Germans and getting a f like a fucking mortar or a shell or a bullet in your fucking head. Yeah. That's what men had to, men had to be uh, exposed to in order to have the right to vote. So me personally, I would have, it would have actually been a privilege to not, I don't know if the privilege is the right term. It's a privilege to get to stay home in, in fucking Idaho and not see the horrors of war. So it's not clear to me if men were advantaged when, during a time period when men had the right to vote and women didn't because it, men's right to vote came with a corresponding responsibility of being put through the meat grinder of war and being disposable. Men have always been the disposable sex. Yeah, I, I agree. So this, I, th but earlier you guys were saying, well, men are more respected. Actually, no. I, women's I, lives have always been more valued than men's lives. That's why we, we ship our young men to war and have them killed in the battlefield. We're dis men are disposable. Women are valued. Men are disposable. And you can't... But the, 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 like, mil the, the millions and millions of deaths throughout the wars reinforce my position. What you're saying is valid. I'm just saying in this day and age, respect versus value, I feel like are kind of different. Like value over like, people always say like women and children first, there's value, right? But I'm saying like respect as in like, just respect, respect for men is like really different than re respect for women. I would actually argue that men are less respected than women. You can, you can be a misandrist and not get any backlash. You can, you can say some real man-hating shit and people just think it's a joke. But if you were to say that shit about women, like... Yeah, th those are issues that, that men face. Okay. They're constantly being, like, women... Which like is women... reinforced by feminists. Yeah, but I'm saying that my definition... Like, I thought, like, we went over this. Like, what when I say I'm a feminist, that's what I meant. Like, okay. But you're kind of bringing up this generalized term of feminism. 
that I already said, like, I didn't really agree but with. My, I, I don't think... Oh, I'm, are you just, like, talking about feminism in general? I, well, I don't think I'm misrepresenting the feminist position because my understanding is the core tenet of feminism, which is taught in any university feminism cla feminist class, is patriarchy theory, male privilege, all these other terms. And, like, if your position is that society is is a male dominate, dominated society if women are oppressed men are to blame men are the oppressors women are the oppressed if that is the central message that you're communicating to to people then in my view that is that is a pretty man-hating ideology to tell young women that men are to be blamed for all the either real or perceived grievances of the past and present you're teaching women to have contempt and hatred for men because you're teaching women that they are oppressed and men are the oppressors if you are if you're teaching this brain rot to people then of course if you believe that men are oppressors and you're oppressed you're not going to feel you're not going to think anything positive about men i don't, i don't think i said any of like i don't think i like I'm not sure if that's your position. Oh, are but you just saying in general? Like that is, that's the mainstream feminist position, patriarchy theory, male privilege. That's like mainstream. Oh, yeah. That is in textbooks. Okay, wow. That was... Grid One Motorsports donated $100. First, you need to ban the word like if I heal like one more time, I might like freak like doc seriously. <laughs> Second, the delusion these privileged women have about any sort of male privilege is like amazing. The only privilege I have as a man is to work hard and die. Word. I mean, really quick on male privilege. I, I just think if males have privilege and there's a patriar patriarchy, how can it be that more men die in war, men are forced into war, men are less likely to go to college, Men are less likely to graduate from college. More men die on the job. More men are incarcerated. More men are homeless. More men delete themselves. I, I'm failing to see where the male privilege is, where the patriarchy is. So, I don't know. I have a question for you. Like, in your studies, do they talk about how women oppress other women? Or do they just talk yeah. about... Okay. Like, the, like, the women, like, stereotypes that are, like, pushed on by other women. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we so, like definitely talked about that. What's like the take on that? Because I mean, we talked about men oppressing women, right? Mm -hmm. That's like the whole thing. But like, I feel like women are the ones who oppress women. I mean, there's definitely like stereotypes that I think women like put on to each other, like like this idea that like women can't get along or like women can't be friends, like they're always gonna be jealous or like catty towards each other. I think that's like mm -hmm. kind of based off of like like the like the, the mic, sorry like yeah. the idea that like women are always battling each other like this like jealousy that like women face within each other i think that's definitely stemmed by like women's just like like internalized like issues that like have been like like growing because of the the type of society that we live in like the way that like we all like we feel the need to have like a certain type of presence or we feel the need to like look a certain way i think that's definitely like reinforced by a lot of different things like i personally just for me my like study and what i believe in is not like anti-men men have like messed this whole world like that's just not me like i think i'm very open to the idea of like the influences of both men and women onto each other that affect each other which is why he brought up all those things like the amount of men that the that delete themselves like it's like it's in like it, there's a lot of issues that like men face that have been placed on them because a lot of people don't value what they go through to a certain extent people are always like well you know that doesn't really matter like they're sad or that doesn't matter like they'll get over it like things like that like there's a lot of issues that both men and women face that I think people kind of get lost in this idea of like what feminism is and I think it's very it's very subjective. It means a lot of different things now especially. So